this is Wesley Fryer, and I am excited to be a guest on the international cooking show that Sarah Fryer has started. And tonight I'm going to share one of our family's favorite recipes, which is called Yodeler's Fondue. You can see the ingredients here, and we're about to go ahead and prepare it. Um, you need a tablespoon of melted butter. You need one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. You need to have a third of a teaspoon of paprika, which actually, Alexander, see if you can get the third teaspoon, because I didn't get that one. Um, you're going to need some dried mustard, about a half a teaspoon, and you're going to need a cup of beer. And Sarah wanted me to definitely remind everyone that when you cook with beer, all the alcohol burns off and it just leaves the flavor. And by far the most difficult part of this recipe for preparation-wise if you don't have a food processor, is hand grating the pound of Monterey Jack cheese that you will need. You will also want to have a fondue dish like we have here, thank you, that has a adjustable um, temperature gauge on it. And some fondue dishes don't, and you really, you know, are going to want an adjustable fondue dish so that you'll be able to make adjustments. So, in order to do this, we are first going to take our tablespoon of beer. Can you pour it in? Yes, yeah. I'm the person. You're going to be the person to pour it in. Okay. To do um, everything. Oh, first. to do it all? Okay, we're going to put our beer, or our butter in. So, Sarah, if you want to um, focus in down here on the butter. What we're going to do is combine our butter, our cornstarch, and our paprika. And we're going to stir all that until it's smooth. So I'm going to hand the spoon to Rachel, and she's going to stir a little bit. And we're going to let the butter stir, or we're going to let the butter melt, rather, and then we're going to mix in our um, spices. One of the uh, mistakes that you can make, which we've made before with this, is to not let this butter, cornstarch, and paprika mixture, um, and, and when you mix the beer in, thicken enough until you start adding the cheese. So what you're going to kind of do is get a base uh, mixture that's going to be in the pot, and then you're going to start adding the cheese once that has thickened. So uh, yeah. looks like that looks pretty good. So uh, let's put our cornstarch in. So we need one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. Oh no! Goodness gracious! Can you take that out of the oven, please? Good thing we have actually. Okay, go ahead and stir it up. Oh, sorry, you don't need to show that. <laughs> We're going to be using bread, apples, and. Um, some little smoky sausages to dip in our fondue and unfortunately we um, are not definitely going to be using that bread because I forgot we can put it in there to toast it. Um, Do not use this bread. Oh, great. <laughs> so now, thank you so much for discrediting me entirely in front of our global audience. Scene. You actually want to uh, use fresh French bread, which we have a loaf that we've already cut. And ideally, you're going to leave it out probably um, all day and let it dry. Um, that loaf that is not burned was um, one that we just bought today. And because we didn't set, uh, cut it early and leave it out to, um, to dry, because you want it to kind of harden a little bit and... Uh, because we didn't do that. Honey, you can turn that off. It's just uh, take that whole tray and put it out in the garage. Okay, so let's take a look at what Rachel's done here. She's stirred up. We've got our butter, our cornstarch, and our paprika. And she stirred that in. How does that look? It looks good. Does it look okay? All right, let's make sure we get all this around the edges. Sounds like we're making a chime here. Okay, go ahead and keep stirring it. All right, and now we're going to go ahead. Don't, yeah, don't wring it like a beer. Oh, you want to pour that in? Okay. Wait. Okay, so Rachel is going to pour in the beer and pour carefully so you don't spill any of it. Pour it slow, not too fast, not too fast, not too fast. I mean, it probably doesn't matter, but... Go ahead, yeah, keep going, keep going, that's fine. Okay, is that all poured in? Yeah. Okay. Here. So Once all, all the bubbles are gone, that means all the alcohol is gone. Well, I don't necessarily know that that's true. The alcohol can still be there even if flat beer still has alcohol in it. So that's just the carbonation. All right, so we're going to stir this now until it is 
um, thickened. And then we're going to start to add our cheese. Mm. So our fondue has thickened, and what we're going to do now is we're going to start to add cheese. So Rachel is going to take little bits of cheese, and I will stir while she does this. No, don't pick it up. Just pick up the cheese like this, and then put it in. Okay? Sarah, you can go ahead and focus on the fondue here in the pot. Okay, that's enough, uh, Rachel. And what we're going to do is we're going to add it little by little so that the cheese is going to melt and it's not going to be too much. Okay, you can keep adding some. You don't want to put too much in because you want that cheese to melt. melted all of the pound of Monterey Jack cheese into the, the Yodeler's fondue and we are ready to eat. So as you can see this is a very fun recipe to do together because everybody can participate. Um, I think that the best ingredient for dipping is actually the bread but tonight we're actually going to have some little smoky sausages that we've uh, cooked and cut in half and then we've also got some apples Although really the best kind of apple to have, I think, are green apples instead of um, uh, red apples that we had. So now, key thing is to have your fondue fork, and you'll put your fondue fork in. And the rule, who can tell us what the rule is if you drop um, the um, fondue? I know what it is. If you drop it, and if it's in, your, in a family, you can't. And you would have to kiss a boy if you dropped it. Yeah, usually you have to kiss somebody who's beside you if you it lose. It only your... can be a boy, but not. But it has to be someone in your family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are it? It's delicious, Rachel. Mm -hmm. And that is yodeler fondue. <laughs>